From homeless to homeowner, that's the story of one mother in Stockton. After four and a half years of living on the street, she and her son finally have a place to call home. KCRA 3's Danica Hill spoke with the mom about her journey and the kindness that helped transform her life. Oh, it's getting better every second. <laughs> getting to this point has been a challenge for Amber Golisano. I did a lot of couch surfing. Um, we stayed in a few abandoned buildings. Um, a lot of really nasty hotels, uh, motels more like it. She says she felt like she had hit rock bottom after her toxic relationship came to an end. He used all my money. He broke down my car. Um, he took my last $100 um, and left me with the furniture literally on the lawn with the sprinklers coming on before we were about to be evicted. Amber, now homeless, struggling with a drug addiction, had nowhere to turn. I mean, I didn't like it. I didn't want to continue it. I just had no idea what to do anymore. The turning point for Amber? I got to the point where I was like, uh, I can't do this with a child. <laughs> the birth of her son, Elliot. Wasn't about me anymore. And I needed to do something and be better for him. You need me to for Amber, that meant reaching out to family members she hadn't heard from in years. And when they told her she had overstayed her welcome, she started looking for shelters. Well, I did happen to find um, Hope Family Shelters. And she'd been there for probably about a year and a half, you know, through COVID. Everyone was kind of hunkered down. Um, and she got on my radar because I kept hearing about how awesome she was doing with saving money. After learning Amber was pinching pennies, walking from the shelter to daycare to her part-time job and back, Hope Ministries helped get her a car. They fantastically do donated me a car that was donated to them, and after that I got um, a much, much, much better job, um, full-time, full benefits. The next step for Amber was to find permanent housing. I met an individual who um, is a real estate agent for mobile home parks and just, you know, condos and things like that. And I said, you know what? I bet you he could help us. That real estate agent, Ben Adrian, offering up his services free of charge. And after 10 long months of putting in offers. I have a three bedroom house now and it's all mine. And I have equity now. I don't really know what it is, but I got it. <laughs> right? Creating a brighter future for her son. He's such a, a great, great boy. And this is just gonna be, I think it's a great example for him to have, you know? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Amber says there's a few minor details she wants to work out before fully moving in and Hope Ministry says they hope this story is an inspiration for others. In Stockton, Danica Hill, KCRA 3 News. Well, Hope Ministry says that this is the first time in their nearly 30 years that a client has gone from being homeless to being a homeowner. She's got equity and what that means is that's great. That's great yeah, for her and her an and her boy. Investment into her and yeah. Elliot. We wish them both absolutely just all the best. They're on their way.